was the dream roommate. I mean, your typical Spanish immigrant, clean, organized, plays great at soccer. I mean, the guys wanted to be him and the girls wanted to see him. Jose, he can be uh, very energetic. Um, he, he loves what he does, especially playing soccer. Um, and then as a RA, he, he does his work accordingly. Oh, Jose? I love that guy. That's my home. Jose was uh, a good student when he first came. Uh, his GPA was really high. Uh, I think he made the uh, Dean's List a couple of times. September 15th, 2015. I won't forget that day. Jackie McCarty sent out her typical BUSA informal email that we all intently wait for. Of course, this one was a little bit different. A chance to win $500 at this year's Money Dive. As Jose's roommate, naturally, he felt obliged to, you know, ask me to be his personal trainer for the Money Dive event. I mean, it makes sense, obviously. But uh, besides that, uh, you know, the, the training was normal. I mean, your, your typical morning runs, um, those, those afternoon swims. Uh, honestly, I, I just loved being Jose's coach. You know, as I watched him every day uh, strive to want more money. It, it was so enjoyable to see that drive and initiative to to want money. Hey, Kelvin, can I get a call from you? Yeah, sure, man. What's up? Uh, can you say a few words about Jose Sanchez? What about him? I, I don't know that guy, man. What are you talking about? Aren't you guys friends? <laughs> we used to be, but I, I don't care about it anymore. Man, he's dead to me. What? Can you, can you explain? No, I don't want to, man. Get on my face with the camera. Wait, wait. Jose who? The only Jose I know is a waste man now. September 20th, 2015. I'll never forget that day. They canceled the money dive. Poor Jose, man. He never saw it coming. He was a wreck. I mean, he was, he was an absolute shambles. And no one would ever know. And I'd make sure of it. I'd do it. I'd do it for him. Or he, he, something happened with him, like, I don't know what, what happened? Maybe a girl threw his life upside down or something. You know, Jose, he could never really recover. I mean, we tried to, you know, go back to our normal routine. We, we went to the gym and, you know, our, our typical boxing regimen and the back, the chest. I mean, I, I, was, I was doing those workouts, but I, I couldn't help but notice Jose's mind was somewhat still on the money dive. I mean, he could never really stop thinking about what could have been. Jose Sanchez, he was here faithfully. I've never seen someone so dedicated to swimming. He, he was almost delusional. He kept talking about this money dive thing. It got so bad, his training, that we were almost worried for him. We referred him to like the psychologist, and even Ron Schaefer had almost to physically remove him out of our pool. We shut the lights on him, he grabbed onto the ladder, and he said he wouldn't leave. It was just... I don't know. Well, I for one am completely shocked to hear about this news. Jose's always been a very good student. He's made a point of coming by and seeing us from time to time with his small group activities and with the uh, classes that he's done. I've watched him in class when I've supervised before and he always seems to have it together. And, and so I can't imagine what possibly has happened in his life. I mean, it does explain why he's kind of had a little bit of a smell the couple times I've passed him in the hallway, maybe. But uh, there's also the, the, the fact that he hasn't come by to see me and, and I'm the chaplain forevermore. That's my job. I mean, he's putting me in an existential crisis. I don't know what to do. But wait, this is about him. Um, we pray for him. We hope that God will continue to keep him not only in his studies, but for his eternal well-being. And I just want you to know, Jose, if you happen to see this, our offices are open. We're here for you. Please, don't lose hope. Honestly, it was, it was hard to watch. The, the downward spiral, it was, it was, it was painful. It was, it was painful. It, like, I'm so confused. And it, at this point, I just, I don't even know what to do anymore. Because it just, 
he's just a different person. Jose's not the same, and I just, I don't know. It's just not okay, I guess. Yeah, well, Jose was a good student. Then um, all of a sudden, he started showing up on the uh, sick committee reports. Uh, the, uh, the student intervention team tried to work with Jose, but it seems like he is going on a, on a very negative slide here in his academics. I'm afraid come next term uh, that uh, academic committee may just may have to dismiss him. Student Association, if you are here listening to this today, I plead with you, bring back the money dive before before it's too late.